Hey, I'm Kyle Ingham from The Distilled Man. Up next, I'm going to show you how to tie the big papa of all tie knots, the double Windsor. Now, compared to a regular tie knot, the four in hand knot that you might be familiar with, the double Windsor, or the also known as the full Windsor, is a larger, more triangular shaped, and more symmetrical knot. And it really is big, it really has a lot of presence. Uh, and in my opinion, it's, I sort of think of it as kind of like a presidential knot. You a lot of times see dignitaries and presidents with these huge double Windsor knots. And you can see in this picture of Bill Clinton and Barack Obama that Bill Clinton is sporting what appears to be a double Windsor, very large, very stately. And Barack, unfortunately, in this picture, has actually appears to be wearing what is probably a, either a half Windsor or maybe even a foreign hand knot. You can really see the difference between his knot and uh, President Clinton's knot. I just think the double Windsor is just more stately, more, more regal, it's just got presence. It says, I'm here and I am a world leader. Now, unfortunately, you can't always rock a double Windsor because one, it does have a little bit to do with your proportions. If you're a, a bigger guy, big neck, big head, it's gonna look pretty good. On the other hand, if you're a smaller guy and you're wearing a, a huge double Windsor knot, it might look a little bit funny. Now, the other thing to consider is the width of your collar. Now, you probably noticed that certain collars can be really narrow, certain collars can kind of be spread collars where they're really, really far out. In fact, those are becoming a lot more popular these days. The double Windsor knot is gonna work a lot better in a much wider collar because, like I said, it is a, a larger, more triangular, more spread out knot. But it's really not a hard knot to tie if you kind of figure out the steps. And that's what I'll show you right now. All right, so the first thing you do is um, put the tie over your neck with the decorated or outside side facing out. And you need a lot of tie to tie this knot because it really does loop around quite a bit. So you're gonna actually have the little end be pretty far up. I have a pretty long torso, I'm a tall guy, so I actually put it just below my pocket, um, if you have a pocket, or right about at your chest level, because you really do need a lot of fabric to tie this tie. Next, you're gonna put the long end over the short end and just keep that pinched together. Now you're gonna take the tie and the long end and put it around back and over the top. Okay? Next, you're going to wrap that around the back over to your right side and the inside of the tie should be, or the underside of the tie should be facing out at this point. Next, you're going to wrap that around the front and loop it back over. And that's the part that's a little different than a regular foreign hand tie knot that you might be used to. So at this point, we're not we're not done yet, but you can see we've kind of got the insides, the guts of what the, the Windsor looks like. And then the final step is we're gonna wrap it around, and I'm gonna put my fingers underneath here so it's a little easier for me to grab the tie when I put it uh, out from the back and into the loop. Go up here, We'll go down through the loop. Again, don't worry if it doesn't look pretty yet because we can futz with it. So I'm going to tighten the bottom. And then if the tie is really not sort of triangular enough, you can kind of tug on the edges. Mine's already pretty, pretty triangular. And then I'm going to tighten it up by pulling on the short short one, adjust it, get a nice little dimple in there, and there you have it, the double Windsor. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. To see more videos like this, you can subscribe to the Distilled Man YouTube channel, and if you haven't already gotten a copy, you can click on screen or in the link below and get a free copy of my 42-page ebook. Thanks again for watching, and until next time.